Well, I've had some great experiences in the emergency department. One that comes to mind in particular is really emphasizing how important medical care is, but also how important dealing with families really is for emergency medicine. There's a patient named Bill. A couple years ago, he came in about 2 o'clock in the morning. He had been married for 30 years or so to his wife. She was very concerned that he had grabbed his head, had a headache, fell on the bed, and was unresponsive. Came to the emergency department. He had to be put on a breathing machine. Had to have multiple things done for him, but we didn't have a neurosurgeon at that hospital. We then flew him to a facility that had a neurosurgeon. And the sad part of the story is, initially, is that he had an aneurysm that leaked in his, in his brain that almost took his life. He had a Hunt and Hess class five, what we call subarachnoid hemorrhage, which is the worst classification. He probably shouldn't have survived. The other part of this story is, when the helicopter took off, I was left with a wife and a bad story to tell her about what might happen to her husband. So I knelt next to her and told her that she should probably plan for the worst, but hope for the best, because this type of stroke, this leaking aneurysm, will probably take his life. But because of EMS, and because of the rapid response we provided and the rapid transport to the neurosurgeon's facility, he walked out of the hospital a week later and he is doing fine today without any neurologic deficits. It was phenomenal. It made us feel good. It helped him. It helped his family. That's what emergency medicine in part is about. He's doing perfectly well now. No, no deficits whatsoever. He's a happy man.